Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to go over today some of the softwares that I think everybody should have a little bit of knowledge of in order to start working in the web web environment. Uh, Notepad++ is a very good you know, text editing program. It's got highlight capabilities and does all some pretty cool things that it needs to do. Um, I'm just going to quickly pull in the video, uh, the window that does the page behind this program. and this is uh, HTML. This is what we're going to be learning in our class this semester is what's behind this page here. Um, so you can see uh, this is Notepad++. It's you know, t highlighting the HTML bits of the page and you can see the comments are green and HTML tags are blue. Uh, descriptions or uh, you know, settings and stuff are purple and red. You, you really get the idea of um, you know, where the HTML begins and where the content ends basically. Uh, next video I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this this paper here, this this page and, and explain some of the tags that I'm using in here and why I'm using them and what they're used for. But in the meantime I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to talk about a little bit more about the software that we're going to be using this semester. So that was Notepad++. It's a basic text editor program. It's pretty easy to find on the internet. Download, install, different, uh, different operating systems I think have a version for it. So. Other than that, we're going to want an up-to-date browser. Internet Explorer IE9 is the first version that uh, fully supports HTML5, or maybe not fully supports, but supports HTML5. And newer versions are definitely a lot better, but uh, I would really suggest Chrome. I'm going to be using Chrome in this class, and later on I'm going to be showing some extensions and things in Chrome that can really make your job easier. And um, if you're if you're using the same thing I'm using, it's just going to make more sense for you. So I would suggest go ahead and getting a Chrome installed and using that. Although any of these programs will work, and even some of the hotkeys, uh, such as F12 to bring up the developer bar, will, will still work in these other programs as well. See, I just hit F12, and this is what's called the development bar. Um, anywho. Let's see, in some graphics graphics editing programs, there's tons out there. You guys probably know more than I do. Uh, I like Fireworks, personally. Photoshop, I can handle, but uh, it's a little more complex than I need it to be. There's a lot of other stuff out there. Uh, I'll explain a little bit further down when I get to over the not required software. Anywho, these three things you should be able to do pretty decent in this class, and you know, some internet research skills and things like that should help um, solve the problems that you need to solve. You know, these not required softwares, so these are things that are really cool. Um, Visual Studio has a lot more capabilities than it's a, and Eclipse does too for you know manipulating HTML and getting a visual sense of what's actually capable. Um, uh, Adobe CS packages, Dreamweaver, if you've ever heard of that, is in there. That's also where Fireworks and Photoshop are. It's a very comprehensive suite, but we'll we'll stick to a basic few programs such as Fireworks and Dreamweaver if we even touch on Dreamweaver. Um, another one that's really good that I guess I didn't write on there um, is Expression Web, Microsoft Expression Web, and it's a good one too. Um, speaking of, I'll pull this in real quick, and why won't I just slip it in there since I'm thinking about it? And da -da 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 -da. We'll add a new list item for Microsoft Web Expression. And I think it's four. Okay. And I hit Control S to save that. I'm gonna pull that window back out. And if I hit refresh, I should get that extra bullet in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Score. And uh, so these are some really cool um, things that you can do. Different plugins for Chrome. This is why I suggest Chrome for you because these different add-ons I'm going to probably touch on at some point in the semester, and they're really they're all pretty pretty cool. Um, I like PageSight. That's PageSpeed Insights. I use that on on our MGA website a lot. Um, XML tree is mainly just needed because you can't really see XML content without uh, this w this or something similar installed on Chrome for whatever reason. Colorzilla's um, for all those design types, they will probably really be cool. It's a, it's a built-in color picker basically for Chrome, and you can select it on the page as well. Um, some of the options are disabled when you're picking from a local page, but you know this alone on itself is is probably worth it for finding your different colors. Um, we'll touch on some of the other stuff later on. Uh, such as responsive web designs and tester and um, 
you know, property page speed. We'll talk about that later too. Let's see. As far as graphic editing programs go, everybody's got a favorite. I like Fireworks. It's easy. It's simple. There's nothing to worry about. Um, unfortunately, it's part of the Adobe Creative Suite package, which makes it kind of like really expensive. I don't know. Maybe you can buy it on its own. I'm not sure. Anyway, everybody loves Photoshop. You know, that's what the internet runs on, right? It's cats and Photoshop. Uh, GIMP is a free open source software that's similar to other. Uh, it's kind of similar to Photoshop in a way. It's you know, it's not bad. It's good. Paint, it's bad. You know, if you can find something else other than paint, you know, please do. But you should be able to do what you need to do in this class with it, which is basically uh, cut and crop pictures and size them to specific pixel width or pixel height, or try to make them fit in a box or something like that. Uh, shouldn't need too much picture editing. You know, in here, this is not a, a picture editing class or digital media class or anything like that. So we're going to be talking mostly code and typing. Uh, if you really, you know, if you can't find something else that you like, Expression Design 4 is a Microsoft program. It's part of that same Web Expression package that the uh, is a HTML editor. You can use that as well. It's a little picture editing program. I couldn't really figure out how to cut and crop images, but I'm sure there's a way. And uh, last but not least, if you're really interested in hardcore development, and this is uh, the path that you want to start taking, probably, is you probably want to figure out how you can set your, your home machine up as a dev environment where you run through local host instead of, you know, doing what we're going to be doing, which is just opening pages in Chrome from uh, whatever local place it is. If you get too crazy on that, there's always database, SQL, MySQL, PHP, and, and when you install IIS, you'll get .NET, so you could... Uh, start learning what server side is going to be one day. It's, I'd rather you get a good foundation in HTML first because a lot of your server side is going to involve manipulating HTML directly or programmatically rather. So uh, Apache is a web server just like IIS and they basically do one or the other. LAMP and WAMP are different setups. Uh, Linux Apache MySQL PHP and Windows Apache MySQL PHP. It's kind of what they call a programming stack. And some web, or, a lot of web servers run on the LAMP stack. I think most of the internet runs on the LAMP stack, but uh, WAMP is popular too. And then not having MySQL or PHP is popular. So, anywho, if you want to, that's your hardcore world. If you want to start looking at server, one day you're going to get there. If you're really digging HTML and want to get into web even deeper. And let's see, in the next, uh, in the next lecture, I'm just going to not lecture, but video. I'm going to go over the kind of what makes this page happen, which is uh, the text behind it. We're going to look at that file a little bit more, and maybe I can dress this page up a little bit, too. So when I actually give it to you guys in class or whatever, it you know looks a lot better. Anywho.